Hello everyone, John Beer JJ here. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to do some uh, another video talking about GPUs. So this is kind of the video that I want to do a long time ago. But in terms of GPU shortages, uh, I was not able to get hands on all these kind of GPUs. So today I've finally been able to collect all the MSI lineups for the 30 series, the Super Max, the um, uh, Gaming X Trial, and also the uh, Winters 3X. So I'm getting the 3070 Ti of all these lineups uh, just because they are available. And uh, you know, in terms of stock availabilities, I think you guys probably have noticed if you have been watching, uh, you know, the the, um, uh, the stock tracker uh, for both of the uh, the Canada computers or uh, Newegg, or even in terms of um, you know Memory Express, they all have cars, uh, you know, pretty much in stock. If you want to get one of those uh, at MSRP, now is the time. Although the in terms of MSRP, this is never MSRP anymore. You know, remember the time when they first released. The um, 3090 will cost, you know, plus tax will be like, you know, 20, 50, uh, 2300, I think. Uh, but let's forget about that. You know, there's inflation, there's increase in GPU prices. You know, uh, it's getting crazy these days. But so let's cut to the chase. Uh, so today we're going to, to actually do a deeper look at all the MSI lineup for the RTX 30 series. So we're going to look at how it looks like and in terms of uh, thermal wise and also in terms of their performances. And um, I know people will say like, hey, actually I'm expecting the same. So the Supreme Act is supposed to do the best of all these three kinds just in terms of uh, it is the flagship GPU of the MSI 30 series lineup. And it has, it is most expensive one. It has dual BIOS and everything. So it's going to perform the best, but is it really the case? Uh, let's, at least for the 3070 series, um, 3070 Ti series. So um, let's take a deeper look. So, um, you know, first of all, we're going to start looking at the uh, uh, MSI Winters 3X and now, and then we're going to go to the um, Gaming X Trial and then finally the Supreme Max. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. S to start off, let's go with the, uh, uh, the stealth one that is the uh, uh, Winters 3X. So this is actually released among the first uh, 3080s and I think this is only this, the first 3080s that I got. They have made some improvement recently, I think. Uh, so in terms of the backplate, um, I think previously it was like the uh, uh, the Graph Knight, but now they're actually changing it to, I feel like this is metal right now. and. Um, I think you know the difference between this ones and the uh, the higher end models with the Supreme and also the Gaming X is that there's no cutout on the uh, middle parts, but there do have cutout on the um, you know the right left side of the GPU, which let the wind blow out through the uh, uh, the car, so it get gets you the better thermal performances. And uh, I've taken a deeper look into the middle of the car. There's actually um, the uh, thermal pad applied to the back of the GPU as well that's helping the GDDR6 memory cooling down on the back uh, at the same time. So, um, you know, overall, I think the improved version of the MSI uh, Winters 3X is actually pretty good. And also, if you look at the, the heat pipes, there's actually uh, uh, four heat pipes as well. So uh, if you don't know that it has the same amount of heat pipes, you know, uh, if you compare to the uh, uh, the Gaming X and also the Supreme, which is a higher end model. And I think the most prominent difference is the uh, the Torx fans. So this is the Torx 3.0 version and the Torx 4.0 version, I have a Supreme X here. So if you compare these two GPUs, you can see that it's a little bit different um, in terms of its number of blade and also the shape of the fans. Uh, and uh, I'm thinking that this fan looks a little bit cheaper because it feels like pure plastic. And uh, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, this also has the, uh, it's a two pin model for the 3060, uh, 3070Ti's and there's actually no RGB on that. So I think this is a really nice graphics card if you're using like a very stealth build, you don't want zero RGB on your, uh, you know, on your entire build. So this will be a really nice card for you. And uh, in terms of uh, connectivity, we can see that there's actually three DisplayPort portal and one HDMI portal, so which is the same across all its uh, lineup for 3070 Ti's. Yeah, um, uh, that's enough talk for the aesthetic of this card. 
uh, let's take a look at the, the performance of it. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, the Winter 3X uh, performances uh, for 3D Mark Times by Score, and we're getting 22K for the uh, uh, 1080p, 14, uh, almost like 15K for the uh, uh, 2K testing, and around like 8K for the uh, uh, 4K testing. And the noise level, um, it's a little bit loud. Uh, for fan spinning at 50%, it's already uh, 1850 RPM. And for 70% fan, we're getting uh, 71 dBA. Uh, and I would recommend basically setting the fan below 50, uh, which would bring you the better uh, noise level. And looking at the degree temperature, uh, this is running uh, under 70% of the uh, fan speed. We're getting 60, around like 60 for the core temperature and around 64 for the memory, uh, which is pretty within range. So we all know that the GTR6 safe operating temperature is um, 95 degrees Celsius. So anywhere under that uh, should consider us safe. So 60 and 64 is well within range. Okay, so right now let's take a look at the uh, uh, the Gaming X12 3070 uh, Ti. So uh, I would say I really like this one because, uh, as a matter of fact, it's actually using the same thermal design. Uh, if you compare with the uh, uh, the 3080s, so it has four heat pipes and uh, uh, there's two eight pin connectors. And if you take a look at the uh, the back plate, although it's not metal, it's still using graphite. Uh, it does have thermal uh, pads apply to the back of the GPU so it's helping cooling those GDDR6 memories uh, all on the front as well. So I'm actually expecting a good thermal from this um, and uh, looking at the front of the GPU uh, you can see that uh, it is the first time uh, the first you know time it starts using the uh, uh, the Torx fans uh, the Torx the Froda 2.0 uh, technologies. These fans look a little bit better compared to the Ventus uh, fans which looks pretty plastic, pretty cheapy, but these fans are, do, does look pretty cool. In terms of RGB, I think I really like the look of the uh, uh, the Gaming X. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you look at the, the back of the GPU, there's only one strip uh, that's lighting up. If you mount the GPU this way, you can see the, you know, the uh, this light strips lighting up. And also on the front of the GPU, uh, there's like, you know, three light uh, band coming all the way from here up to here. Um, it's actually minimalistic, RGB doesn't feel that crazy, but also gives you uh, some style into this GPU. So I really kind of like the, uh, the Gaming X and uh, I'm actually expecting good things from this one. So let's take a look at its real performances. Okay, so now let's take a look at the Gaming X Trial 3070 Ti. We can see the score improves a little bit compared to the Windows 3X, but it's in a very small range, especially in 1080p. It's basically, I would say the difference is within uh, margin of error. And for the 2K, the performance is slightly better by like, you know, uh, this is like, 3% and uh, for the 4K performances, this is only like um, around like 10% or something, but uh, it is quite small, you know, of changes uh, compared to the uh, Ventus 3X. And looking at the noise level, uh, we see that uh, the fan noise is a little bit better compared to the Ventus. Uh, While well, the fans 50% spinning is only 1650 because remember the fans is a little bit different design uh, Which is for the 3x versus for the 2x uh, 4x 4.0 versus 3.0 uh, which had uh, a slightly different uh, you know, design compared to the previous fans which result in a uh, uh, quieter uh, in terms of noise level and for the core temperature, I would say it's pretty well within range. Like it was 60 and now it's 58, two degree Celsius um, more cooler, but the uh, the memory temperature is slightly higher, which is, I think it should be um, understandable because there is no cover for Winter 3X while the, uh, um, the MSI Gaming X trial, which has the, uh, the back of the, the board has a cutout in the middle. Uh, and uh, that you know decreases the uh, the total uh, backplate area, so which makes it a little bit hotter, but still with well within range. 
So finally, let's look at the flagship GPU of MSI, the MSI Supreme X. I know there are several versions of this. There's Supreme X, there's the Supreme one. And I think they have a different, little bit different in terms of their um, uh, memory overclock ability, just like the Gaming X and the Gaming Z. And uh, this one is definitely the best of its kind. I remember the MSI was released a little bit later after the Ventus and Gaming X trial, which was previously um, just been released after you know the launch of the 30 series. So um, okay, so let's talk about the, the uh, you know the aesthetic of this uh, this GPU first of all. And uh, as you can see that you know the backplate is not graphite and it's using uh, pure metal on the backplate. And uh, we do have several paths applied to the uh, back of the GPU as well. And uh, also we have a blue through design on the other side of the GPU that's cut out so that the uh, you know the fans can directly blow through the vapor chamber and get the heat out from the back. So uh, you know since it's a flagship GPU, it, the design wise is actually doing the maximum both in terms of aesthetic and in terms of its cooling capacity. So we're also seeing four uh, heat pipes that's the same amount of cooling compared to the Gaming X. And uh, if you look at the front of the GPU, um, it's still using the you know folder two fan, but the difference is that the dragon thimble on the fans, uh, if you can see right here, is actually carved on the fan, uh, while the uh, the gaming X ones is just you know printed on this. So this looks extra supreme um, compared to the uh, uh, the other lineup of the MSI. So. In terms of connectivity, it's the same with uh, Gaming X Trail. We have three DP portal and one HDMI portal, uh, which is, you know, I really hope that they put another HDMI here so that we will have uh, a better connectivity in there. So in terms of feature that the Supreme X have that the uh, Gaming X doesn't have is the uh, the BIOS switch. As you can see right here, there's gaming BIOS, there's silent BIOS, so you can switch between them. Uh, but, you know, in terms, I think it gives you a little bit better overclockability and also a little bit better of fan curve, uh, different fan curves. But um, I don't, I think you can all achieve that through MSI Afterburner. But, you know, as, as I mentioned, this is the, you know, the supreme GPU, the best flagship of its kind. So, you know, it's very, you know, common to including this dual switch uh, into the back. So in terms of RGB wise, uh, there's actually two RGB you know, light strips on here that's going in this direction. And there's large RGB strips uh, on the uh, Supreme logo here. So uh, I think it's kind of using the same design compared to the, um, uh, the same location where the logo lights up uh, versus the Gaming X. Uh, but this one does look really supreme in terms of its building quality uh, and also its, uh, you know, its entire texture. And the length of it, it's actually the longest uh, you know, we compare this one with the Gaming X and both the Windows. Uh, so, yeah, um, you know, I was actually expecting it to perform the best, of course, uh, compared to the other two GPUs. So let's find out. Lastly, let's take a look at the uh, Supreme X score. And uh, I would say this score is almost the same with the Gaming X Trail. So uh, both in terms of the uh, 1080p, 2K and 4K scores. And for the noise level, it's actually a little bit louder compared to the Gaming X, but it is uh, still quite within range. Also, the fan looks a little different in terms of the, the Dragon cutout, but uh, it's seemingly to be the same fan in terms of design. And for the core temperature, it's very, very similar um, temperature compared to the Gaming X Trail. So basically, you don't see much of a difference here. Okay, so um, this is... You know, after seeing all these results, I don't know what you guys feel, but for me, uh, this is definitely a surprise. So all these cars are performed very, very similarly, and there isn't a very prominent difference. So all the slightly little difference, you can even put it into the um, uh, margin of error kind of range uh, in terms of actual differences. So um, if you are a buyer and then there's like all these three GPUs on our size lining up in term in, in ahead of you that you are available to choose from, just choose whatever one that looks best fits your aesthetic and also choose the one that you know uh, you can afford. 
uh, if you're having all these options because there isn't really much of a difference. Honestly, I feel like this is uh, kind of a you know slightly disappointment because I do feel like you know the, the Supreme X. Uh, should have the better performances. I was expecting it to outperform all the other GPUs, like the, the gaming X or anything. But no, it's you know you, even in some games it's performed slightly a little bit worse. And also in terms of cooling wise, uh, this this the gaming X is you know doing a little bit better. But I've heard some uh, bad news about gaming X. If you ever taking this card apart, you will see that the you know the uh, uh, they're saying that the the heat pipe is directly touching. Uh, the, the core that makes the temperature looks better, but it's uh, not so good in terms of long term wise. But um, I would say that how long are you going to use your GPU, right? Like you use your GPU for like three years uh, to the point that it's going to wear and tear. Uh, it is it is service as its purpose. It's, it's already fulfill all this what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, so up to that point, I feel like okay, you can choose whatever. Uh, GPU it does it works with you, so it doesn't it doesn't even matter to up to that point. So I, I hope this video actually help you guys to choose uh, between different MSI GPUs. And uh, if you like this video, uh, feel free to click on the subscribe button down here to receive the latest news from me. And uh, uh, if you have any section, you know comments or you something you want to say to me, feel free to post in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.